Alrighty, up around the corner. This is the biggest oh, corner there. ever. <laughs> <laughs> oh, <man. laughs> Tara and Nikki with the Plains Paris Real Estate Team right here in Kansas City. If you're even thinking about moving to Kansas City and want to know everything there is to do in Kansas City, go ahead, hit that like button, ring that bell, so that way you get an update every time we do one of these videos. If you'd like to reach out to us, our phone number is 816-439-8705. Go ahead and call us, text us, you can even shoot us an email. It's linked right in our description. Can't wait to hear from you. All right, so we are pulling into the downtown square here in Smithville. So Smithville's really good about keeping that small town feel, keeping the mom and pop stores alive and keeping out those bigger uh, corporations to keep it more of a community. So down here on the right, this is where they will have bands on the weekends. They do hot summer nights every Friday night in August. So that's a lot of fun. They have different games for the kids to do. Um, it's just a really fun time for the family and everybody in town. So we just passed the Humphreys Bar. I don't know if we'll make another lap. There's a little bar over here as well as Chops Barbecue, little flower shop. So all the kind of typical little square amenities. We'll, we'll flip around here and go up on the other side. There's some more shops on this other side. Um, so Smithville has a population of just under 11,000 people and it has doubled since 2000. So the population has increased a ton and they're building new subdivisions all the time. Um, it's a very sought after town to be in. So I'm going to just flip around here. So if you look on the left, this used to be the original um, movie theater there, the Ville. And now I think it's a, it used to be a thrift store. Um, but yeah, this used to be a uh, movie theater back in the day. I like how they keep this little all these old buildings up kept and just remodeled so it still gives you that old time feel yeah it's really cute mm -hmm. it looks good down here lots of options so i think next we're going to go ahead and drive over to where the schools are so fun fact smithville made it into uh, the top 15 school districts here in the kansas city metro if you want to learn more about the other school districts here you can click above and it takes you right to the video. If not, we'll link it below in the description where you can watch that later. But we will head over that way just to give you a little glimpse of what the little the school campus looks like. The high school, the middle school, and elementary is all in one spot. And then as Smithville has grown, they've had to add a couple more elementaries that are outside of that little campus that they have all the rest of the schools in. Yeah, so there's three elementaries total. All right, so we'll see you at the school campuses. All right, so here we are to the school campuses. <laughs> Speed bumps, yeah, <laughs> always get us. <laughs> All right, so yeah, the football field is over here to the right. And then you have the, um, the high school first here on the left. The Warrior Activity Center right here to the right, um, it is actually brand new. So I know there's weight rooms in there and I think there's um, a big part of wrestling. I'm just not sure how that works, but it is a new building that they added on recently. Um, but yeah, I'm not sure why they have it blocked off. I don't know if they're getting ready to do some, looks like they're getting ready to redo some parking lots. Mm -hmm. Which um, here school is out until about the third week of August. Yep. So we are on our summer break. Yes, it is late June right now and very clear skies, which mm -hmm. has brought in Lovely. a lot of wind today. <laughs> but we're probably about 88 degrees. And with the wind, it's not too bad. No, it's actually pretty nice today. Yesterday was pretty, pretty small tree. So if you're not familiar with the weather here in Missouri, it tells you what's up. Mm -hmm. It's very extreme. So back here we have an elementary. And they are doing a lot of work speed. here, so it looks like they're we're doing the sidewalk here at the ball, uh, ball field on the right. It's actually a softball field. Mm-hmm. I wonder where the baseball field is. Yeah, got 
lot of construction going mm -hmm. on this summer before school is back in session. Yeah. Here's the elementary. So here's the elementary. We just passed the middle school. And this is still going to give um, kind of smaller school classroom sizes. So it's not like you know, the bigger schools where you're, you know, mixed in with 30 students, you still have more of a smaller classroom size. And Smithville is located just north of Kansas City. So we're actually only about 15 minutes from the airport, but then we are 25 minutes to downtown Kansas City. So even though it's not in Kansas City, it is just barely north. And the way everything is growing, I don't think it'll be too long before the mm -hmm. two kind of start connecting at mm -hmm. the edges. It's already getting pretty close. Yep. So kind of a benefit of Smithville over, so Smithville is in between Kearney and Platte City. So then they're all pretty small towns, but the one benefit of um, Smithville, cause you can go directly down 169 and you can be like at Target, shopping malls, anything in like 10 minutes mm -hmm. to where like Smith, uh, Platte City and Kearney are still a little bit um, further out from, they're probably more like the 20, 25 minutes to anything that's going to give you shopping and directly to the city. So you really get that small town feel here, but super, super close to any kind of amenities that you want to go to. Yeah. All right, so we are going to get out of these speed bumps <laughs> and kind of show you where you can shop in, uh, for your groceries and just different uh, fast food options for you. Yeah, they've recently added a new shopping center, so we will uh, see you there. Let's check that out. So here we're coming um, from the east, headed west. This is the newest shopping area in Smithville. Has a Scooters, Taco Bell, Ace Hardware, uh, the Price Chopper, Burger King. So we'll do a quick lap through there. And then I think after that, we should definitely head over to the lake. Mm -hmm. Especially today, I bet there's gonna be a lot of people out. Yeah, we should see a lot of boats. And I would say if I was gonna pick two reasons to live in Smithville, mm -hmm. one being, of course, it does have that small town feel. But number two, the lake. It's yeah. pretty cool, yeah. Yeah. And it's not too, too big like the Lake of the Ozarks. You can still, you know, fit a decent sized boat out there, but you're not, you know, going to be in like a choppy water like the Lake of the Ozarks. So there's Burger King. Oh, it's also, um, you can shoot off fireworks here in Smithville. I know some cities you can't. So you'll see these tents aren't typically here, but it is 4th of July coming up, so. Yep, so they will be opening very soon. I think they can only sell like, what, two weeks out from 4th of July? Mm -hmm. And then they have to shut down, like, I think the day or two after. Yep. So it's a very short window mm -hmm. when you can buy and shoot fireworks. So there you got Price Chopper. This is where you're gonna do most of your grocery shopping unless you wanna head into um, the Kansas City area and then you'll find you'll have Costco in about 15 minutes from here so very 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 convenient location Ace Hardware Porter's Ace Hardware over there is like it's gonna be your closest uh, hardware store other than Lowe's which then again you can be in a Lowe's or Home Depot in another 20 minutes yep 15 to 20 so if you just need a quick quick run you still have everything here in town so let's out, head over toward the lake, and once we get there, I'll give you a few facts about Smithville Lake. Okay, here we are at Smithville Lake. So we're gonna cross over the dam, so you should have a nice view. Um, How ready that is. So there's not any houses that are built on this lake so you cannot own actual shoreline but a little bit about this lake uh, it was built it was man-made back in the late 70s 80s um, to help with flooding uh, smithville did have some problems with flooding into their downtown and so they started on this back in 1979. it is 7200 acres and has 175 miles of shoreline so it's a pretty decent size lake, but mm -hmm. not humongous. Yeah. And as you can see, it's not going to be crazy like the Lake of the Ozarks. There's just a lot of fishermen that come out here. There's a couple skiing over there. 
you can look on your on, the, on our left that's what the, the spillway is down there and camping so you can go down there and camp there's shelter houses down there that you can rent and have parties down there um, the spillway is kind of cool people like to fish on there so it's just you know it controls the water coming out but you can actually see the fish coming out of the spillway as it, as it opens up so that's pretty cool so there's a couple of different camping grounds around the lake um, again you can't put anything there permanently so it is just camping and you head out also if I could be wrong here but I'm pretty sure anybody can put their boat on the lake as long as it's a registered boat mm -hmm. so you don't have to have a membership mm -hmm. or anything you can there's a couple of different um, marinas with boat ramps so you can put your boat on here and there's only maybe one or couple of places you can park a boat yes, um, and so, you do have to rent those spots yeah and they're very 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 hard to get into so you'll be on a waiting list to store your boat in those um, but it is possible you just got to sign your name up and hope you get in <laughs> or know somebody to help you get in <laughs> yeah so most people just take their boat in and out for the weekends that's more than normal yeah and you do have to have a parking so if you're going to come up here quite often you have to buy a you can buy a seasonal parking pass um, so you can put your boat in and out it doesn't cost very much um, and then on saturdays they do bands live music uh, on the lake down there so that's a lot of fun so if you're out on the lake all day um, and you want to just pull in and have a bite to eat and watch the band that's a lot of fun yeah on the weekends and I also don't know if they still have it, but you used to be able to rent um, some pontoons at the marina. Mm -hmm. So do you, do you think they still do that? I so. I don't know why we haven't done it. <laughs> we, need uh, to. we did it years ago and really had fun because um, we do not own a boat. It's expensive. It is. You have to have somewhere to store it. So we did a boat rental one day and it was really nice. Mm -hmm. And if you're into biking, walking trails, there's lots of trails around the lake that you can um, hit up and it's a lot of it's in the trees so it's a lot cool it's cooler so because no one like lives around the lake you can't build on the lake so a lot of a lot of trees and different stuff around um, it's a lot of fun you'll see deer as you're going turkeys it's a lot of wildlife and one thing i also wanted to mention about living in smithville so you can live in a subdivision but as we're driving around you can see that there's a lot of countryside as well so if you want a little bit of acreage living in smithville is an option because you can get up to you know 10 acres you can get an acre there's a lot of you don't have to be just in a subdivision. Yeah, so a little bit of information about the real estate in Smithville. Um, kind of like everywhere else, inventory is pretty low. Currently today, again, we're in late June, there's 27 active listings, but 17 of those are actually new builds. So that only leaves about 10 real houses on the market um, when you're not counting the new builds. And if we look at a 180 day window of real estate in Smithville, the average price is 430,000 um, but houses here like currently the active ones go from 350 all the way up to 1.1 million so there's a really big range and a lot of those higher numbers come with a little bit of land mm -hmm. so. so we are gonna take you through a subdivision right now um, Greyhawk it's up here on the right kind of give you a glimpse of what you know what kind of houses you can get for the money here in Smithville yeah, so if we have time and we have battery life, we're going to take you through <laughs> three different subdivisions. Um, we try to do three different price points. So one's going to be mid threes, one's going to be in the fours, probably the low end of fours, and then one into the five. So this first one is Greyhawk. Um, this is going to be in your mid five hundreds for an average. And they have a little bit of everything. They got ranches, they have two stories. So this is one where you can move up into the neighborhood. It's pretty big. They're doing a lot of new construction on the back um, back end. I'll take you by that as well. Let's drive down the street. Yeah. Yeah, there is currently three new builds available in the Greyhawk subdivision. <laughs> I don't know how far along they are. Sometimes they're close to being ready to move in and sometimes they haven't even broken ground yet. So you never know when you're getting into new builds where you're at. But yeah, so there's reverse ranches, Got a split entry. Uh, I think we passed a two story. So, yeah, ranch here, reverse. So, lots of different styles of homes. So, this neighborhood is going to have an HOA. So, even though you're super close to the lake, you can't just have a boat and park it in your driveway. You're going to have to store it, park it in your garage. You just can't leave it out. A lot of um, HOAs have a time restriction, like 
an example would be like, okay, you can have your boat in your driveway for 72 hours, but it has to be put away within a reasonable time frame. You can't just tarp it and leave it in the driveway. No, and usually they're pretty particular about that. Mm -hmm. But yeah, so the lake where you drop in your boat, you're literally like three minutes down, down the road. So if you are a lake person, but also an HOA neighborhood person, this is a really good option. Yeah, really close for mm -hmm. sure. And it's also super close. We kind of went the back way up here, but if you just um, hop on 169, you can be down into town in no time. And 169 is the, the main highway that runs through Smithville. So that's going to get you all the way to Kansas City. So here's the new construction. And that one that we just passed on the corner, it's, you know, you can get a new, brand new ranch in here for about 450. But yeah, they're building way back here. Oh, here's someone with a boat. <laughs> Clock is ticking. Mm -hmm. <laughs> All righty, let's head over to do you Rollins Landing. Yep, yep okay. it's super close. So we will see you there. See you there. All right, so this is Rollins Landing. So this neighborhood is older than Greyhawk. Um, Greyhawk was built after this one, <laughs> but this is still a good option and even closer to the lake than um, than Greyhawk right there. See, he's ready. He's ready to party. <laughs> I know. I want to go boating today. I know. This is actually a perfect day. A little windy, but yeah. it's a good day. Yeah. So a little bit about this subdivision. Um, average 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 price is low 400s um definitely can go you know up into the f upper fours and some could be in the threes but on an average we're at the low 400s again every style of home in here from your split levels to ranches to two stories so lots of variety mm -hmm. it also has an hoa so again you're not gonna be able to poke your park poke your boat park your boat <laughs> in your driveway you're gonna have to have boat storage or put it in your garage. Um, one option, if you don't want an HOA, um, Harbor View. Um, you can keep your boat outside. There's, um, and it's super close. Like it's literally across the street as well. So definitely, definitely, if you're a boat fisherman, these three neighborhoods are really good options. What is the price point of Harbor? Um, Harbor you? View? Yeah, the one that you can put. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they don't. Mm -hmm. They either don't have an HOA or they don't manage it well because yes, you can keep your boat there. So um, yeah, Harbor View has a more of an average of about 320,000. So it's an older neighborhood. Um, I think most of the houses there were built in the mid nineties to early 2000s. All right, well that is Rawlings Landing. So we are gonna make our way up to Harbor Lake. Harbor Lake, that's gonna be our mid 300s. Um, subdivision. So we'll head over there and then after that we're gonna go check out something in paradise. See you there. Alright here we are at Harbor Lake. So this is also super close to the lake, but just not as close to put a boat in. Um, you have to go to the other marina further up. Um, but like I said, all these are gonna be really, really close within maybe five to 10 minutes of putting your boat into the lake. Yeah, in this neighborhood, most of the houses here were started in the mid 2000s and up from there um, of the year, year built. Mm -hmm. So this, um, this is going to be more of a starter neighborhood maybe, or, you know, ending neighborhood when you're ready to downsize and get to something different. Uh, the houses aren't going to be as big as they are in uh, Greyhawk or Ron's Landing. Yeah. So the average here again is about 350,000. I'm going to do a little sloop down here on this cul-de-sacs. And this is another one where you're going to have a lot of cul-de-sacs, so you're not going to have a lot of traffic coming through your neighborhood. Whoever's coming here belongs here. It's not, it's off the beaten path, so it's more of a um, 
quieter neighborhood. Alrighty, well, you know, I think we've shown you a lot of different options of where you can live here in Smithville, mm -hmm. um, where you can shop, where you can eat, where you can have fun. So the last thing we want to take you to is our little uh, favorite part, little slice of paradise. Um, we'll see you there. Yep, see you there. <laughs>